Yeah, how you doing? Um, you ever have one of them days where it seems like, <laughs> without being over dramatic, like the world's conspiring against you or something like that, where, you know, it could be work or relationships or um, family. That's another big, that's another big one. And you, you're getting all this pressure, all this tension from, from different angles and whatever. And if you're not careful, you can really, um, you can get, kind of get sucked into it. And it, of course it's going to have an effect on you. But the key then is to not react on it. So you can, uh, you have one or two ways of, of dealing with something consciously or unconsciously. And what I mean by, you know, when we deal with something unconsciously is that we, we just react. We react out of that emotion. We'll say something or, or, or do something that is um, normally we end up regret doing. And we either have to fix it or it's unfixable. And it, or it has a, uh, a knock-on effect. Um, you know, has further consequences. Whereas... If you just allow yourself to stop... And it's kind of counterintuitive. If you allow yourself to stop and... Not do anything. There's some, some great trainings out there at the moment. And they all talk about this type of thing. About resolving tension in one or two ways. You know, which is one is in favour of those uh, of the unconscious, and one is in favour of the conscious. Um, unconscious being your kind of the set of beliefs, your sort of habitual way of thinking and and being. But like I've just said, it's always um, it's always wrong. <laughs> it's always incorrect. And um, there's a great saying: is um, I can't remember. I think it's Robert Fritz again. Says, "Don't just stand there, do nothing." But on top of that, by not reacting or or doing anything you can then refocus and think about what it is that you want for yourself uh, and do something in favour of what you love. And that could be completely different. It could be counterintuitive. So I'll give you an example. I was going through similar sort of things this morning, woke up this morning, fuzzy haired, real stressed about certain things. And I'm like, what the hell? And But rather than go completely off the wall and overreact and and do things that aren't going to be in favour of me for the long term, I decided to go to the gym, kick the shit out of some bags, do a bit of training, and it just lets that pressure off, and then it gives you, allows you that time to, and space to refocus. And then what happens is by doing something completely different and not reacting and thinking, oh, I can influence it, I can do something to make this change, I can, if I just did this, if I just said that, or let me just, I don't know, you know, the list is endless. We all think we can influence something, but we get we get to a point where you just can't. And but ultimately, what it is that you want for yourself is still true. So you have to let go and not try and force things that you want for yourself or insist you want it in a certain way. It's still true for you. It's, if that's still your truth, then that's still nothing's changed, other than an expectation or something like that. that that's, it's our expectations that cause us a lot of pain and a lot of grief. So you have to let those go and trust that something, things will turn up for you just exactly as you you know want them or even greater. So I think it's about being conscious and what do you think about in that space then look at it like well, I was just having a conversation just now with someone and it's almost like having... It's like waiting for something. You know, the, unfortunately, conscious thinking comes later, whereas unconscious thinking is immediate. It's there, it's reactive. So it's almost like waiting for a uh, a bus or a train and you've, the first one comes along, the unconscious one, and it's packed. So you know if you get on that, that experience is going to be completely different to the one to the second train that comes along that has got more time and more space and that journey is completely different so it's about choosing which journey you want to go on really and what sort of space um you want to create so just when you feel that tension when you feel that uh angst or that need to do something maybe it's about just stopping and waiting to see what else comes up because if you know that feeling or normally the sign is that it's it's a bad feeling or ill feeling then stop just wait you have to wait just ride it out sit with it and see what else comes do something completely different and uh, see what turns up for you yeah, i just thought i'd share that with you that uh yeah interesting it's practice it's not easy but uh it's definitely doable and rewarding more to the point